So let's get the sketch done. I'll just take you through it quickly. I would start off with a line again for the distant horizon and there's some hills in the distance again there, some trees and that's basically about it. Um, then we have the yacht. What I would say is when you're when you're sketching, try to help your give yourself a bit of guidance, have a look to see where that yacht is. And you'll see that the front of the yacht is about here. So the line is just not too bad. I've made the hills a bit bigger. But the back of the yacht is about here, so past the trees. So just try and keep that in mind. And again, make sure you give yourself plenty of room to put a nice reflection in. Don't have the, the yacht away down here. So, let's get started with the sketch. <coughs> so, I'm going to put a line across for the, about here. It's just slightly, this will be about halfway, it's just above it. So, I'm going to put a line across there. And I'm going to put some bit in for these hills or trees in the distance. There's another little bit just there further away and then we have these trees a bit more green a bit closer. Right so that's the, the distance area. Now we have the yacht as you remember it's just down from the horizon but not too far down. So again, so I'm just going to put it in about here. Right, so I'm quickly going to... Remember I said it's along about there in the line with the trees, so that'll do it. I'm going to put a bit in so that it, for the reflections in the water there's a little bit of a cabin thing here. Let me put that in as well. And uh, now this is the part. Um, you need a steady hand. I'm just trying to look to see where that um, main mast is and it goes up a bit here. So I'm going to just quickly draw a line up there. And there's a bit here. There will be ropes, which always feels quite good, but um, that's just a guide, you don't have to paint that in just now. So that would do, I'm quite happy with that. Just ready now to put the paint on. Okay, so we're at the blocking in stage again. Just want to fill the whole uh, sheet of paper in. And you mix up a nice big blue for the sky, quite a low value, about a two or a three. Fill it all in and paint right over the trees and the distant hills, right down here. Just one little bit, that nice white part of the top of the yacht. I want to protect that and then slightly darker mix for down here. Then, we just let that dry. So quickly get a big wash mixed up. <coughs> So I'm going to start off with cobalt blue again. <laughs> I'm going to, um, going to add some ultramarine, slightly darker. It's not a bright sunny day. I remember taking this picture, it was actually up in Italy, Lake Maggiore area. So, here we go, I've got a big wash mixed up, just want to try this out, so here we go, so I'm just going to start off and work my way down, and the secret here is speed, you've got to be quick and we need to have plenty of paint mixed up. And then 
don't know how I've got enough. I might struggle here. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly mix up some more. Right, here we go. And this is this bit I was telling you about. I just want to protect the white part there. Quite nice. Can paint over the rest. And bring it down. There we are. It's okay. Right, now I'm going to just let a look at the picture again. The photograph, you can see it's um, darker at the bottom, so I'm going to quickly add some more of that ultramarine blue. A bit of the Windsor blue. I'm just going to add a little bit of brown, just to make it darker. Use the mixing colours again, skill. Right, that's quite nice. I'm just going to make it darker again because it is quite dark near the bottom. And just going to get down to the edge. And I think that'll do. Just having a quick look at the picture and the photograph, so yeah, that'll do. That's quite nice. I'm going to just darken the bottom bit again, just adding just, we'll paint to strengthen this up because it is quite dark down there. And one of the things about watercolour painting to try and remember is. The paint all, always dries lighter, so there'll be nothing worse than you come back and this is dried far too light, because you won't get a second chance. Um, unfortunately, the paint will be dry and it will be too late. So I'm just going to another. A little darker bit there, and that's fine. Right, brush down. First wash complete. Ready for the detail in the background, and then finally the boat with the reflections. So here we have the painting. Um, the wash is now dry. The paper's completely dry, so we can then start to tackle some of the detail. I'll just let you have a look at this picture again. What I'm going to do first is um, this range of smaller hills over on the left hand side and there's a, another one if you can look carefully just beyond that so we need to get that a lighter tone. Then we've got some of the island that's coming closer with it, so as more greens and browns. So I'm just going to start with that. I'm going to mix up a nice blue, a purpley blue, and get started. I've actually um, got a hairdryer here. You may want to use that, or you may just want to let the paper dry. I just want to speed things up a bit. And I'll show you why I need that in a minute. just want to get that paler, lower value tone in hills in the distance before I come and paint this one. I need to get a hard edge. Right, so what colour do we need? Well, this is one of these ones again. You don't get it in a tube, you mix it up. Um, it's a purpley blue, so I'm going to start with some yellow, uh, some cobalt blue. And <coughs> I've got um, this light red colour. Yeah, that's quite nice. Right, so I'm going to try that. See how that looks. So here we go. Just try and zoom in a bit for this top part. Right, I want to get this bit in the distance. That's just a little bit too dark. 
Can you put some water in there? And that'll, hopefully that'll do. I'm going to soften that or lower the tone a bit. That's just too dark. That's better. Right, I'm going to get that hair dryer for a tick and just um, dry that. Right, so the reason I did that was um, I need to get a hard edge here. I don't want this being soft and this paint goes in there and gets lost. So I'm going to use some of that colour again, just make it a little bit stronger. Um, so it's, as you'll see, it's purpley blues that we're looking for here. And I'm going to put a bit of that light red colour in again. So, let's see how this looks. That's okay. Alright, so I'll get that in the distance, so we'll just get straight along for the horizon line. And I'm going to take that to here. So this is the bit that I was talking about, this is why I've dried that, so that you can get a nice hard edge. If you remember, the, just go back to the picture to have a look again. You can see it's um, more greens on the right hand side. We're getting closer here, so we're starting to get darker mid-tone colours. It's not blues anymore, it's browns and greens. So. Um, <coughs> that's mixed up a, a dark green colour, so I'm going to use that um, burnt umber and a little bit of that Windsor blue colour again and we'll get this nice dark green colour, which is super. Right, so let's try it over here. So I'm just having a quick look at that picture again, but I'm the artist, so I'm going to put in my version of what that is. Right, so you can see that's quite dark. Um, but it's good, that's what we want. Let's maybe warm it up a bit. Right, so there's little bits of trees bubble popping up and just to give it a bit of texture. Right, so this bit here needs to be down a touch from there. It's not in line with that horizon line, it's, it's closer. So there we are, it's starting to look. It's better. So I'll we'll just carry on, try and get this in here, this part, and there's two little trees sticking up. So I'm holding the brush at the end here, you get these, use it carefully, you get a lot of lovely pointed parts. Right, I just want to put that in, then I'm going to put some darker bits in again. There's a line there, I want to get rid of that, you can't have that. So let's just make it slightly darker in bits. Right, so let's get the boat painted in. So I'm going to use a, a bit of a blue colour, cobalt blue to start with, sorry, um, ultramarine blue. And I'm going to put some brown in, a burnt sienna colour. Uh, that's too strong. <laughs> 
bit more blue in. There we are. It's quite a nice colour. So let's get back to the to the yacht and see if we can get this painted in. I'm just going to test the colour first. Looks okay. Let me try it. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's just a little bit too fierce, too dark. I'm going to add a little bit of water. That's better. So, there's that white part that I protected right at the beginning. I want to keep that. And I'm going to come along here. And it's got a bit like so that the end of the boat. Right, that's quite good for self for that. So I'll use that grey, but I'm just going to soften it right down um, to a lower value and paint in the part for the cabin area. Just a pale grey. There's a little bit at the back here. That's about it. Right. That'll do. Now there's a tricky part coming up here. This, um, let me have a look at the picture again. This mast. Now there's two or three ways you can do this. You can get a ruler, I know I said you shouldn't use a ruler, but in this instance you'll be trying to get a very straight line. You can also just go for it, mix up the colour and one stroke down, which is quite brave. I'll show you how you can do that in a minute. Um, I think you would possibly be better with a ruler and I'll, we'll have a go at doing that. So one way to tackle this painting the mast is uh, quite a bold technique where you just go for it with a one liner. And how I would suggest is you get a piece of scrap paper and you are, once you're confident you are going to just put a line up there and I'll show you what I mean by that. And I'll put it on this scrap bit here. So I want to um, just give myself an idea of where the mast is going to be and how high and then I'm going to just start to put some lines in and go for one and there we are that takes a bit of courage that but um, it's quite a, a nice finish when uh, you get to the top so by using the ruler um, first of all you can see I've turned the board round so it makes it a lot easier for you so Get the brush, line up the top and where it starts, the mast, and just go for it. So we straight up here. And there. There's a little sort of flag thing at the top which I quite like. And that would do. I'll just turn it around again. Look, that's okay. I'm just going to soften that bit there, it's too big. That'll do. Okay, so I'm just going to try and um, get the rest of the detail on the top of the yacht. So there's a bit here that comes down, probably for the sail at the back. Um, there's one or two little bits here. <coughs> There's a, a rope going straight up there. I'm just going to put that in one go if I can. So here we go. There's just a bit more watery paint. And straight up. There we are. That'll do. Okay, so there's just one 
rope on the right hand side up here so I just want to try and get that in and then we'll tackle the reflections so I'm just going to go from I think it'll be about there and just get some paint and up we go we use a, a brownish blue if that makes sense I'm mixing up some ultramarine and a little bit of brown right there we are, that's a nice colour so let's have a look at the reflections I'll get this a little bit closer so you can see it right now the reflections should be the opposite of what's above so this part here I've seen a lot of people paint that down there it's not it's it's here and I'll just explain this after I've done this so I'm just going to rattle through this so I'm just going to start here straight along there so we get to the end and it's the same that doesn't look like that to be honest but this is what I would do anyway so I have this bit here and I'm going to leave one or two bits I'm going to get the rigger now to finish off I'm going to put a lot of these little bits up here and some of the, the railings and it just all helps to give it that as I said in one of the other videos away from a photograph this is more like a a painting now so we come to the actual mast itself <clears throat> so I'm just going to get this done then I'll explain reflections to you so I'm going to start from here and come down and start to take it right down to the end and there's one or two, I'm just going to strengthen that up a bit so this would be up to about here and it would be very faint but nevertheless helps and same at the back there would be something like so and I'm going to put a, there's always a a line, um, a shadowy reflection which makes it look as if the boat is sitting in the, the water okay reflections just um, before I filled completed the reflection for the boat I was going to explain it to you so that you hopefully understand it if you had a pole in the water and it was straight up and down the reflection would be like so if you had a pole that was in the water but it was at an angle tilted the reflection doesn't go down there it comes this way so just be careful about that I've seen a lot of students who come to my class who paint it in the opposite direction they paint it down here that's wrong that one's right so I've let the painting dry now and um, I've had a good half hour break so I'm just having a look at this picture and if you see there's one or two little ripples up here looks like there's sort of um, rocks under the water so I'm going to add, try and add some bits of detail just to finish it off and see what it looks like so I'm basically mixing up a big soupy sort of wash here of blue, ultramarine blue of brown just to 
and I'm going to as I say, this is quite a low value colour about a 4 so there's bits down here under the water There's, as I say, these ripples in the distance. <coughs> like a sort of brownish colour. Just going to drop one or two of these in. Up here, just that. Bits of sort of reflection areas up here. And I think that's about it really. Just Edges. And if I keep going, <coughs> I'm just going to spoil the painting, so I'll just put it brushed down now. I think that will do. Just looking at the sky would probably help to just make that a little bit more interesting. I'm going to put a bit of a cloud in. You're the artist so let's um, use a bit of imagination just to try and make it a little bit more attractive. Right, I think that'll do. So here's the finished painting. As you can see I've added one or two little bits of uh, movement in the water. Some little strokes here. I did a little bit of colour, a bit of yellow and a bit of red for a flag, just to give it some bit of detail. But um, overall, quite a, a decent effort. So hopefully you've enjoyed it and you can have a go at painting the yacht in still water. Mm -hmm.